sure I got some high notes. But, but, I got, I got something new in the works. Yeah, it's all hand signals and clear looks. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but... It'll do. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. There. Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Lady. It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare.
Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. Do you honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Eat for that? Just tell me what you want. So Jung wanted something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not in your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's secret lab. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra, then everybody friends. Where's his lab? Close the off, past Fink's quarters, and you smart lady, you find Should have seen that one coming. Box Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run it to ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. I'm gonna think. A giant clock. Sort of. 
Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... There's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We've just got to find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. We've got the clock key. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you.
Jesus is right in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Set me up to kill her, to, to turn me in, to turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you- Elizabeth, I'm not Booker. And neither am I. Seems like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. It's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved.
poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. It must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? I tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Booker, the little girl in the film, it's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember he, he was, he, he'd crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know that something would happen, but, but he just lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair? He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all of the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs> It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out! my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for? For myself. Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. Don't worry, 
I got your back. Right up! Watch uh, you! Put you down! Do you think Daisy really even had a choice? What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Yeah. Booker thought he did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No one take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. people need. But sometimes I feel that all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me, I can't forget them. Pretty Lydia has the hair. Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. For this revolution except my own dark motivations when all is said and done what's more important to me the people i want to save are those i want to murder in their beds deal is deal bring it to sujong <laughs> 